This is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell and Missy Kohler. News 25, local news you can count on. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, a rump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. This segment of the news is brought to you by Silver State Health, bringing quality medical and psychiatric care to Pahrump. Call 775-505-1214 for an appointment. Welcome to News 25. It's Monday, November 16th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Missy Kohler. Thanks for being with us. Well, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue are called to a familiar location Sunday morning. Yes, after 11 o'clock, we were dispatched a report of smoke showing from a structure. The crews quickly responded with a full first alarm assignment for a structure fire. As I arrived on location, I found moderate smoke showing from the rooftop, as well as an opening on a vacant, unsecured structure located on a 160. Quickly, fire broached through the roof surface and out the doors. Crews, because of previous fire events in the same building, crews commenced a defensive exterior attack. We were going to make certain that nobody was injured in this fire. Uh, they were able to tap into a closely located hydrant across the highway, which logistically posed challenges because there was a lot of traffic on the highway for that day. So law enforcement did a good job, secured the roadway. The suction line or the um, supply line was stretched across the highway, closing the highway for several hours. The fire was controlled with master streams. A primary and secondary searches were completed from the exterior. There was no one found in the property. Valley Electric responded, secured the power, and a suspect was developed by witnesses who worked uh, closely with the sheriff's office while we were suppressing the fire, and a suspect was identified and they spoke with him. So they're following up with that. There's been three separate fires within the last year, two of them the structures, and then there was an accessory outbuilding just immediately to the west of the primary dwelling that have caught fire within the last 30 days. Closely located hydrant, the hydrant provided a lot of gallons per minute, so it was very helpful for us to put a large amount of water on this fire in a very short period of time, which allowed us to control it very quickly on. There were signs of collapse on the exterior wall surfaces early on, and there was closely located power poles that were also on fire. So we had to keep crews back in the initial stages, make sure we were doing everything completely safe, and that water was instrumental in getting that fire under control timely by placing large amounts of water. Police and fire responded to a fully involved car on fire, car on, fire on 160 at mile marker 40. The car fire was blocking the number two travel lane. There was a report of flames shooting into the number one lane. Police shut down the highway during the investigation and cleanup, and there were no injuries reported. Well, an afternoon ride on her motorcycle to meet her mom for lunch turned into a very scary accident for Kelly Hanzelic Sater of Pahrump. Now authorities are asking for your help in finding that person that left the scene of this near head-on collision. Uh, yeah, I left my house to, uh, my mom had gotten to town um, the day before to uh, come visit me and I went to go meet her for lunch and maybe about a mile, maybe less down the road, um, Somebody passed an oncoming car in a no passing zone and they either didn't see me or didn't care. Um. <laughs> Watching the video, it looks like they just didn't care. Um, but they got over and came head on with me and I had to either hit them head on or dump my bike. And so. I dumped my bike. <laughs> so the bike slid about 80 feet. I think I went about 60 feet. Um, and the driver, <laughs> uh, they didn't even try to stop. Um, some, if you look closely in the video, you can even see that they looked back and saw me. And then, you know, I mean, well, I mean, I, I wrecked right in front of them and they looked back, saw me wreck and they didn't, they didn't try to, from the video, you can see they, they didn't even attempt to pull over or slow down, nothing. Um, I've gotten a lot of people say that it looks like it's a, maybe a dealer plate which is possibly maybe why they didn't stop because if they it's a company car maybe then they didn't want to get in trouble but i think i would rather get in trouble than leave somebody dead on the side of the road <laughs> luckily they had their dash uh, cam on and they caught them passing and you can see that it's no passing zone um 
and you see them continue down the road without even slowing down. So it's an Audi A3. Um, we've got that much so far. Um, the uh, local law enforcement is helping me. Um, they're tracking down, seeing how many are registered in the state to maybe narrow it down by the partial possibilities of what the plate could be. We just don't have a definite plate on it yet. It's, it's weird because it, it happened so quick, but I remember everything <laughs> that happened. Um, in my head, I just remember when I finally stopped sliding, I, I stopped and I could hear the woman screaming from behind uh, that got out of the car. Um, her daughter hopped out and ran over and grabbed my purse because I was out of it. My purse was in the middle of the road uh, down over where my bike was. And I just said, can you grab it? I go, I got to call my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and, and at that time, I didn't know what was wrong with me, if I was OK, if I could stand. So I just kind of sat there and... I just remember her yelling, I've got it on video, I've got it on video. And the relief just came over me yeah. because I knew the guy didn't stop. <laughs> so um, it was just like one of those, wow, thank God, you know, we got something. And that was, yeah, very, very, lu very lucky I survived and very lucky that she happened to be there with her dash cam. <laughs> I had my leathers on, I had my gloves on, and I... <laughs> I'm just so thankful that I did. I almost left without them because it was a beautiful day. And I remember thinking my mom's going to be so mad if I pull up to lunch on my bike and I'm not wearing my leathers. So I threw them on and it's just one of those. I'm so happy it happened. Um, and uh, so it saved me um, a lot, a lot of pain, but um, I still, I had road rash on both arms. Um, my knees, my knee, uh, for, unfortunately wasn't as lucky Um it went through my jeans and tore it up pretty bad. Um, and I sprained my right wrist, broke my left wrist, and um, and the emotional trauma, I think, is probably the worst of it. The car in question is believed to be a 2013 Audi A3 2.0. The accident occurred on October 30th at Highway 160 in Mesquite. If you have any information regarding this accident, please contact the Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. Kelly at the Braided Lady Saloon, 775-764-9377. Or you can contact KPVM at 775-727-9400. You may remain anonymous. And we'll be back with more News 25 just after this break. You're watching News 25, the most recognized and farthest reaching local news in Nye County. News 25, local news you can count on. Optum Care Network of Nevada, offering Medicare Advantage members more than 3,000 primary and specialty care providers throughout the state. Welcome back. We're happy to have you with us. McDonald's implements tougher standards as coronavirus cases reach a high and DoorDash plans an IPO delivery. Here's the latest from the business world. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, McDonald's is cooking up a new safety strategy as coronavirus cases reach a record high. The fast food giant will implement tougher standards, including inspections during the next six weeks to make certain franchise owners are doing the required procedures to avoid the spread of COVID. DoorDash plans to deliver an IPO to investors. DoorDash is a leading food delivery app in the country. The company generated $1.9 billion in revenue this year, along with a loss of $149 million. The stock is expected to trade under the ticker symbol DASH. DoorDash has 1 million delivery workers known as DoorDashers and 5 million customers paying a monthly fee of $9.99 for restaurant food deliveries, something that has become tremendously popular during the pandemic. To find out where you can see us every day, go to businessfirstam.com. Well, the Nye County Sheriff's Office made some comments about the helicopters and paramilitary training happening in the desert southwest of town that is based out of Spring Mountain Motorsports. They asked that you do not call the Nye County Sheriff's Office dispatch. They are aware of these exercises. The Nye County Sheriff's Office, in close coordination with other business and civil leaders, are actively supporting the readiness training of the United States Air Force Rescue Forces. 
All realistic military training scenarios have been planned in coordination with the Sheriff's Office management team in order to ensure the safety of the public while simultaneously affording our servicemen and women the opportunity to be as prepared as possible when called upon to deploy overseas. While these training exercises will continue for the next several months. If you have any questions, you can email the Sheriff at sheriff at co.mye.nv.us. There has been confirmed two new deaths related to COVID-19. The deceased were residents of Pahrump. It is important to remember that COVID deaths generally correspond to cases diagnosed up to five weeks ago. There are 71 new COVID-19 positive cases reported and confirmed by this morning's email, all in Pahrump. Overall, there has been 1,035 confirmed cases of COVID-19 positives countywide since the first reported case in March. There have been approximately 8,640 tests administered for COVID-19 in Nye, and the reported number of tests administered is the best information received by the county from the state and private clinics. The number does not reflect the unknown number of county residents tested outside of the county. Remember that there is drive-up testing in Pahrump, Mondays 7 to 9 p.m. and Wednesday and Friday morning 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., and it's by appointment testing available in Tonopah and other areas of the county. Just bring your identification and your insurance card, and if you don't have insurance, you can still be tested. Stay in your vehicle. Testing also available throughout the county. And that testing is at Serenity Mental Health. That's right there in the Calvada Eye of Walt Williams Drive. We'll be back with more News 25 just after this. You're watching News 25, brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. News 25, local news you can count on. News is brought to you by Canyon Ridge Periodontics. Give them a call at 702-966-0302. Welcome back. Well, officials in Washoe and Clark County have begun certifying the general election results, which show the November 3rd election statewide so far with Joe Biden holding 33,596 votes a victory over Donald Trump in the presidential contest, an official result submitted for approval by the commissioners in those counties. Election officials and the 17 county clerks in the state are scheduled to approve results in time to turn their names over to the Nevada Supreme Court to certify the statewide vote November 24th. Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak has released a new update regarding his COVID-19 positive test result. Sisolak says he appreciates the outpouring of support and well wishes, and he is doing well and in good spirits and experiencing only mild symptoms at this time. As part of regular testing protocol, Friday, November 13th, Sisolak received a positive result from both a rapid test and a diagnostic PCR test. And we're going to go to your weather cam right now with John Kohler. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Hi, it's John Kohler on location at 1020 Wilson Road. We're right here at the Knight Communities Coalition, and uh, they've got something great going on. The Holiday Task Force on, uh, on Thanksgiving, on the 26th, they're going to be here uh, distributing uh, Thanksgiving dinners. Now, they normally have a big dinner, but this is this year, you know, with COVID and whatnot, social distancing, um, they've gone to kind of a drive through format. So you drive up, you tell them how many meals you need, they load up your car, off you go, uh, kind of drive through right here. Um, now, if you're uh, traveling on foot and don't have a place to go, there's still be a table or two around for you to enjoy some Thanksgiving cheer while you're here. Uh, and if you want to, uh, uh, donate anything uh talk to linda 419-7857 she'd be happy for your help hey it's a beautiful day we're going to tell you all about the weather and everything you can expect in the week upcoming when we return news 25 weather is brought to you by dairy council of nevada the splash of cream in your coffee the dollop of sour cream on your burrito the melted toasty cheese on your pizza undeniably delicious undeniably dairy enjoy what's real Hi, good evening, Nevada. It's John Kohler from the KPVM Channel 25 Weather Studios. And man, have we got a weather report for you. Whoa! Look at that, 65 up in Fernley, 37 for a low. Out in Fallon, also 65, 36 for a low. Carson uh, City, you saw 67 and 44 for a low. Perhaps I've oversold the excitement. I don't know. It felt like a good move going in. 66 for uh, Tonopah today, 35 for a low. Out in Goldfield, 65 and 33 and don't ask anybody any questions about it they don't want to tell you anything about it anyway out in Beatty, 74 degrees is your high today 43 for the low 
Amber Ghost is 78. Wow, look at you, 44 for a low tonight. Out in Las Vegas, 77 degrees is the high, 55, oh, excuse me, 50 for a low. I said yesterday the pools are closed. Then I heard like Circus got the pool downtown open 24-7, 365, not too bad. Good move, Circa. All right, Death Valley, you saw 84 degrees today. Heating up a little bit out there in Death Valley. 55 will be your low this evening. And here in the Paradise of Pahrump, 70 degrees is our current temperature. We got as high as 77. That was before the lights went out. You know how it does. It's getting so early these days. Winds out of the west, northwest to five miles per hour. Humidity right at 12%. Just a little cloud cover, maybe a little wispy something here and there, but nothing too bad. Uh, sun rose this morning at 622, and it went down at 434. Wow. Getting early, getting early. Night comes soon here in Pahrump. Low tonight will be 50 degrees. Uh, the wind's out of the east, southeast to 7 miles per hour. And the humidity picking up just a little bit, but not too much. We'll see some interesting weather here as we head on into the week. Let's take a look, shall we? Tuesday, Wednesday, windy. Look at that. And starting to cool off a little bit. Uh, get a break on Thursday from the wind. And wind returns Friday, Saturday. <laughs> wind. <laughs> uh, also get some clouds this weekend. That'll be different. Uh, temperatures gradually degrading from like the high 70s, low 80s down to uh, low 60s as we head on into the week. So it is cooling off a little bit. So we're going to give a little bit of wind, a little bit of cool. It's winter. What are you going to do? That's your weather report. Back to the desk. Here's Deanna. Thanks so much, John. Well, congratulations to Christine Miller Anderson. She is the winner of the Project COVID-19. She's going to receive a free makeover care of Elizabeth Bryant and Carol Santa Cruz from Simply Divine Hair Salon. Our second phase of the contest has begun, so you can continue to nominate somebody you think could use a little pick-me-up, a makeover courtesy of Simply Divine. Now, if you've already entered the contest and you haven't won yet, you're still entered. We're going to hold on to those nominations and we'll choose another lucky winner. So keep them coming. You can email to Deanna at kpvm25. Did I get it? Dot TV. Dot TV. Mm -hmm. I got it this time. And just email and tell us why you think this nice lady needs a makeover. Also, Elizabeth right now is taking those appointments for your holiday hair. Yes. And um, so if you would like to schedule your appointment or even get a gift certificate, because it's a wonderful gift for the holidays, you can give her a call, 702-375-1835. Simply Divine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of News 25. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Missy Kohler. Have a great evening. Good night.